everyone. My name is Nina Camplin and I'm the facilitator for the online art sessions for the VC Gallery. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a tarantula or draw a tarantula. Now I've got here, I'm using a uh, Sharpie pens. So before I start, I'm going to show you how to draw the basis of the spider. So I've got here, this is just um, drawing paper and I'm going to show you how to get the, the basic shape with the legs and everything on. I'm, st I'm just doing this with, with basic um, kind of oval shapes just to get the basic of the, the spider in. So first of all for the body, I'm going to go with a, an oval about that size. Okay so it's about a bit low down on the page, it's not quite halfway. And then the head is going to be about that big inside that circle and then inside the head you've got the eyes which are kind of like that sort of shape and then I'm going to start putting in the legs um, and I'm going to carry on using ovals just to get the shapes of the legs so I've got two legs coming out from the front so one there and one there and then I'm they're kind of divided into sections and they go like that. And like this. Now I'm using charcoal just so that you can see it on the white paper because I have drawn it out in pencil but you're not seeing it so when you do yours, if you just use pencil, then it won't show when you start putting the marker on. And then we've got some some other legs that are coming up at the front here. Actually, let's have a look at this. This is the, this is the um, reference that I'm using. So we've got these two legs that are coming up in the front here. And they're like... And then we've got back ones. It's a bit longer. And there. I've got the basic spider shape there. Now I'm gonna start going in with my, my pens. I'm gonna start with the eyes. And I'm going to colour those yellow. I go in so I look kind of orange at the top. And we've got the kind of, there's a little kind of pincer thing here for its, or well, some pincers coming down for its face there. Now I'm going to start doing some of the, the detail on the legs. The legs are really hairy. I'm going to use, like, use orange. So the hairs come out from the legs. A little bit of hair just showing around the edge of the body as well. Just come down like this. In between each section of the legs there's this kind of like joints in. Okay. I'm going to just colour in the main part of the body as well. Give it a bit of a solidity. make this a bit darker. I'm using a blue now. Start trying to define the legs a little bit more. I'm 
Now I'm going to start putting down a, a ground for the spider to be standing on. I'll go for a, a, dark, a dark green on this. Let's give his body a bit more definition. You might notice that I'm not using black here at all. I'm building the, the darks up with lots of different colours. So they will come across as almost a black. So I've used blue and I've used green. I'm going to use some, some red now. Just defining the ends of the feet so that they look a bit more solid. The joints need a bit more definition. I'm going to go with really that's a dark blue. I'm just building up more of the hairs. Hopefully I'll join you again next week. I think we're continuing with the, the theme of pets and next week we're looking at how our animals or how we look like our animals. So <laughs> have a think about it and hopefully I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.